Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy. Good morning, T-Birds. I'm Sophia. And I'm Jerry. Today is Wednesday, February 20th, and you're watching Mount Oma TV. In honor of February being Black History Month, each day we'll spot a trailblazer in black history. Today we're talking about Madam C.J. Walker. She was an entrepreneur and a political social activist. She's the world's most successful female entrepreneur on her, of her time. And she made her fortune by developing and marketing a line of beauty products and hair products for black women. There is a cheer interest meeting next Tuesday, February 26th in the room 613. The meeting begins at 2.30. There is interest sign, sign up sheets in the main office. Yearbook prices will go up before you know it, so get them while you, while you can. It's only 40 bucks. You can purchase it online at yearbooksforever.com or see Miss Dale at the cashier window in the office. While you're at it, seniors, make sure to purchase a senior ad. Prices vary, and the deadline has been extended until April 14th. Speaking of seniors, graduation is less than five months away. Are you prepared yourself to meet the requirements? Here's some information to help you make sure you go across that stage on time. What are some of the things you've done to secure your spot in the graduation list? Well, so 2019, what they need in order to graduate is make sure they have all their credits, right? And then also the big thing is that students fail to like pay attention to and early on is the state test. The state test, you got to make sure you pass it. Uh, if you didn't pass it during your freshman, sophomore year, you know, they have retakes and I'm sure seniors are working on that right now, but making sure for all you upperclassmen to pass your state tests then as well as your high school and beyond plan. High school and beyond plan is very important. Uh, if students need clarification on that, uh, especially the seniors, uh, really go see uh, Miss Angela Phillips, who's in the Career Center, and she will definitely help clarify things for that. And so definitely high school and beyond plan, state tests, and making sure you have all your credits. What have you done to secure your spot on graduation? Well, I've been studying for most of my classes, uh, making sure I stay up um, doing my homework and um, effectively um, effectively doing my work and um, being respectful to my teachers. That's pretty much it. Stuff like that? Uh, well, right now, I, I it's kind of ironic saying this, start early, but I mean, we're in February. <laughs> yeah, so the tips... I would probably suggest is, you know, make sure you just keep applying, applying. Uh, don't feel like you're discouraged just because, you know, you might not get it. Uh, you never know unless you apply. So, you know, seniors just keep applying for scholarships, do what you can uh, to really kind of get your college costs uh, covered. Important thing, don't forget to get your senior bundle before the prices go up. If you received any college applicant letters, email, or have enlisted in the military, please bring those documents to the Career Center and complete a vanity form. This is part of your high school and beyond plan for graduation. Next week is the deadline for the Washington State Opportunity Scholarship. If you are a senior with a 2.75 GPA, you could access up to thousands in scholarship funds. Stop by the Career Center if you're interested. If you're planning on playing baseball or softball, make sure you attend the mandatory meeting after school this Friday in the presentation room. This is a very important meeting, so please attend. Talk to Coach Davis or Coach Thayer for more information. Good morning, T-Birds. It's Jordan with your MTTV weekday weather. So this week we're going to have a mix of sun and rain. Wednesday is going to be partly cloudy with a little bit of sun. So you might be able to get some outdoor stuff in. It's going to be high 42, low 29. Thursday is going to be sunny with a high 47, low 29. So you'll be able to do more outdoor stuff like run, jog or something. Friday is going to be raining so make sure you're prepared at school with an umbrella or a coat it's going to be a high of 44 and low of 34 and that's it t-birds with your mttv weekday weather and back to you
Well, that does it for today's news. I'm. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Sophia. And I'm Jay. Subscribe to us on YouTube to never miss a story. Have a great day, T-Birds.